do with this? Smack it. Smack it with a hammer. That's okay, that's okay. Maybe we'll need to take a, a flat bar to it. Okay. Or maybe maybe even use this claw. There we go. I'll do the other side maybe. Or other end, yeah. Oh no! Well, that was glued like nobody's business. <laughs> okay. I think we might need to glue this again. I'm not too sure, but I think we need to glue. Oh, yeah. Oh, what What was it? What was the... Oh, tulip wood. I guess it... Uh, I guess it, we squeezed it too tight. We squeezed too much glue out of there. Yeah, without having any space between... Whoops! Oopsies! I'm not cutting off my thumb today. I like last time.
two box. Why am I not Brooks. his shoes? Brooks. Brooks. What do you got there, buddy? It is shoes. Wow. Really? No way. One shoe. No, left. Cool. No way. Hold on. Left and right. Definitely a bird thing. Oh, careful. This, uh, careful. Is it colory? Okay. Is it R Romeo? Oh, it looks like jam. Oh, jam. Fun. Oh, backgammon. Yeah. <laughs> and syrups, that's cool. His name is Michael. Yeah. Jams, jellies, and marmalades. Jams, jellies, and marmalades, which I'm fairly certain are the same thing. Yeah. Okay, after yeah. Joel was... Yeah. Auntie Nora. Nora. Really? Mom, steal the like, beer. Sir? Take the and beer, jam. man. I don't think Take so. Take the beer. It's for it's for people of. Um, Just so you guys know, there's a link in the description to a deleted scene video that shows this whole gift exchange game thing. I already got my shoes stolen at this point, and then another gift stolen again. Um, so if you want to watch the whole game, whatever you call it, link in the description. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be another drink. Oh no, this is better. We got some Reese's, pretzels, birthday cake, Kit Kat. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Toxic Rick. I'm a genius. I don't have time for this shit. Awesome. Couldn't have gone to a better guy. Oh, that's really good cheese. That's a good cheese. Remember? Were we buying yeah, that last year? Oh, that's nice. I used to buy that like last year. Oh, she's oh, more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice one, hey? Yeah, red, green, and. So what, I thought it was a hockey puck. How does he die? When he said that, I thought, but over here, it's like. Thing like that. Black bomber. Are you taking a video of Dad as he goes to the bathroom? <laughs> That is some good, that is your best shot ever and great grouping. Uh, 19.
There it is. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> All right, well, that's the first stalemate. I've never seen that happen. No, that's it. No, that's it. That's the only thing you can do. Wow, that is that is crazy. Okay, I didn't even know that was how you played. You have to get ahead. Dang, so once points are being written, you that's have right. to be ahead. Oh right. my god, okay. So it, yeah, it was just, it's just like Dang, overtime, that one. Okay. Wow. Dang. I've never seen that happen before. Yeah, me neither. Ashley tied it for you guys. Dang, lucky. Lucky. Hard to do and film. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't do it and film. <laughs> you ever get those like when you run and then you get like a pain in your ankle? Ah. Ooh, right when I hit the ground. Well, this is late. Guys, look at my thumb sliding down that rail. If you slow it down, you can just see my thumb just oh, right there. And uh, yeah, look how fat it is compared to my other one. It's just, yeah, it's a little sore to move. We'll see how it hinders me today. But also, check out what Dakota got me for Christmas for the uh, studio shelf. Jerry. Oh. And George. Jerry doesn't want to stand. And he's a stand-up comedian. Not a fall-over comedian. <laughs> that, was, that was a terrible joke. That was terrible. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we got him there. Those guys are standing just fine. I said just fine. I meant just fine. They're standing just fine. And he's standing just fine. They're standing fine. Bob Ross is standing fine. He actually doesn't go there. He must have fallen off. He goes up here somewhere. Next to the happy little teeth. I get it because... That's a joke, set of teeth, but there's also these other teeth here. And you smile when you're happy, which shows your teeth. Look at those happy little teeth. Yeah. Anyway, enough with the terrible jokes. Guys, I hope you had a very good Christmas, a very happy, merry Christmas. It's almost time for the New Year celebrations as well. I hope everyone is having a good time wherever you are. Like these gals here. Look. Her feathers are almost all growing in. It's almost time for her to go outside with uh, the other girls. She is already good to go, but it's better to have them because they're communal birds to have them together. Um, so yeah, they're together right now. It's cold in the studio here because we keep the, keep the door closed for the most part, but uh, it's not as cold as it is out there. But you kind of want to keep it cold enough that when we do bring them back outside, they don't have trouble because they're not acclimated to, to the cold cold. But all the gals out there are uh, uh, doing good because they didn't molt late. Let's see if they're, let's see if they're outside. Oh yeah, they are. Look at them. 
Look at them. Wow. Look how big Dixon has gotten. Look at that. He's such a rooster. Look at him with his rooster feathers. I don't know if you guys can tell, but he's got... You see how his feathers near his tail, they they swoop down? He's, they're not used to me, so I can't really get that close. Oh, so, sorry. So, uh, sorry, Bonnie. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Near his tail, they like swoop down a bit. Yeah, he's clearly a rooster, so... He is no longer Dixie, he's Dixon, as suggested by one of you. But anyway, as I was saying, these guys all molted on time, so they stay relatively warm uh, out here, especially with like the plastic on everything. Kind of a greenhouse effect in here. It's actually pretty nice in here. They're all out here. Look at Nugget and Ginger. Even they're, they're nervous of me. I haven't been in here for a long time. You can totally tell the difference. <laughs> They're all going inside. They're like, all right, see you later. All right, guys, I won't stress you out. You can totally tell the difference between uh, their behavior with Ashley and their behavior. Ah, man, my thumb. Their behavior with me because they recognize Ashley because she comes here every single day. Anyway, uh, Ken, Shop Ken should be here soon. So, uh, hopefully we have a decently productive morning. Dogs! Ava, where are your friends? Oh, look at them. Taryn. Buddy! Henry! Good boy! Oh, you're smelling something delicious? Oh, I bet you, because there was a coyote by the apple tree. He's probably trying to figure out that. Here comes Buddy. Good boy. Okay, come on, Henry. Oh, he caught whiff of it again. There was also moose out here by the apple tree eating the, the rotten apples, getting drunk. Oh, look at it. It's Clint. All right. <laughs> Wise old Clint. The wizard. What, what's up with that pipe? Gandalf, my old friend. It's a church warden, it's called. Yeah, it's cool. It's just nicer when you're driving because you don't have to lift up your hand. Right. <laughs> right. It's your driving mm -hmm. pipe. Oh, you got some, uh, what is that, oak? Yeah. Good old ugly oak. Mm, it's pretty it's pretty green. Yeah. The walnut that these guys had was horrible, so we switched to oak, and I'm just going to stain it dark. Oh, yeah, okay. For uh, like a little low wall in between a front room and a kitchen. They want like a bar there. Their kids sit there all the time. Oh, okay. We'll build a bar around it. Cool. For the same guys I just did the uh, theater for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That theater turned out awesome. How was your Christmas? My Christmas was awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How was yours? It was great. Was it was working on today? today, more cutting boards. Got a whole bunch more clamps and all that stuff, so we should be able to glue up a lot more today. Nice. Bought some clamps over Christmas. Yeah, Wicked Sale. Oh, really? They were nine bucks each oh, for nice. bar clamps. Totally. Where is that at? KMS. Yeah. Ken! Oh, Dang. Jeez, you did get me. I did? You did, a little bit. That was a terrible, scare reaction. Yeah. <laughs> like you need to push the face. How are you? Imagine you did punch me in the face though, like oh, as a reaction. I would have been like, well, that wasn't worth it. That didn't work. I'd have to punch you back, but not with my left hand. Look how swollen that is. Well, what happened? I uh, slid down a rail on my stomach. Usually I hold onto the rail like this, 
and I had my thumb up, but I had to grip it differently, and then there was like a support, and it just cranked my thumb. Oh, yeah, twisted backwards. Yeah, it wasn't good. Cracked thumb? Yeah, look how fat that is compared to the other one. This one. It just, it just cranked it on a sliding down a rail. It wasn't, it wasn't the best thing to do. All right, let's see if these clamps work just as good as these clamps. Hopefully the sale wasn't a, yeah, these are the new clamps. Okay. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping their price does not reflect their quality. Uh, we'll see. My mom is here. She brought over Chena, who hasn't seen Buddy in such a long time. Look at them. She's kind of got her hair sticking up, doesn't she? Kind of. She totally does. She has her whole, whole hackle. <laughs> She's being like a boy. <laughs> yeah. She started that because I am. She's wagging her tail. She doesn't have her hackles up. Because when I walked in their house, she was very happy. She knew me right away. Oh, taking a... <laughs> Sideways dump, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a slushy <laughs> or a Dairy Queen ice cream. <laughs> One of these days, they're going to get through there. Yeah, look how loose they made this. No, they didn't, they didn't do that. I hit it with the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> I slammed it's into like it. When you hit that tree well, over there. If they jump against it enough, it could do it too. Yeah. You missed the... Well, so did I. But you missed the introduction. Well, the reintroduction. But her paws are getting cold, so... Don't let her jump. <laughs> her ass is right in my face. <laughs> Don't let her jump. She can break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> like At her. least her paws are warm. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Buddy? Oh, how are your paws, bud? He seems to not care about the cold so much, and it could be like his hair. I don't yeah. know. And Ava doesn't care. Like, she didn't care about the snow at all. She acted like she sees it all the time instead of sand. Yeah. Well, they lived in Illinois. Oh, and there's snow in there. Yeah. In Illinois. She saw some. Oh, okay. All right. Nice to see you guys. Yeah. All right. See ya. Here, take care of the old doggy here. Yeah. <laughs> good old jeans. All right. Well, have a good trip, Mom, and whatever else. Hey, jeans, you're staying here. You're staying here. Do you not want her to stay here? I, th I, I wasn't thinking of leaving her right now. Oh. But I don't know. Okay. No, that's okay. Then take her. Take her. I thought you were dropping her off now. No, I just wanted them to meet. I wanted to see when they meet. Ah, okay. Okay, well, you can do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you later, guys. See ya. Sure. Oh, watch my thumb. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I thought my mom was dropping off Tina right now, but she just wanted them to see each other uh, until. What is this? Limbo? I can't do that. Put this in the uh, old McDonald's. Oh, that's full. Gotta bring those to the bottle depot, get some sweet coin. Anyway, I thought my mom was uh, going to. Uh, drop off Tina because she's going back to Arizona to deal with my sister's estate and all that and uh, she asked us, us if we could watch Tina while she's gone and uh, we said sure so I thought that was today but now they just wanted to see how the dogs got along speaking of getting along it looks like these clamps are pretty good oh sweet yeah that's the bar that's awesome well that's the theater yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to see how the top countertop turned out. Yeah, yeah. Like that's awesome. 
yes. if you guys want to see that, make sure that you follow Clint on Instagram. I'll have it in the description, as well as Ken's Instagram as well. Uh, he started a brand new one, uh, focusing on his artwork and and stuff that he's going to be making besides the stuff that he's making with me. Well, he'll probably post that too. I don't know. I'll have both their information in the description below. That's the one. Sweet. There we go. Followed. Right on. And then I'll actually follow you. <laughs> guys this is what we got done yeah i shouldn't have glued that up on oh, top of here yeah. that's uh that's a bummer uh, maybe here dilute it with some some wawa a little bit of wawa yeah there we go ah eventually we'll get a good system going yeah we'll get her yeah but uh this is everything that we glued up this is what i shouldn't have glued up on there it's uh too thin so I'm gluing it on top of a piece of pine for the bottom, but should be good. And then we got all of these banana bread boards here and two more up here. And then we have, we ran out of clamps. Good clamps. To do these, yeah, ran out, of, well, no, we're completely out. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well. Because Clint used some F clamps there. Okay. But anyway, we got these to glue up still. We didn't cut any more blanks today, which is what we would normally do, but we're not going to today. Clint is working on some things. What are these, Clint? Uh, sides of a little bar that's going to go behind the Chesterfield in the theater. Ah, Chesterfield in the theater. Okay. Uh, yeah, the theater scene. Okay, that makes sense. Make sure you guys follow Clint's Instagram to see the result of that. Yeah, and then we have this one. We've been doing some more work on there, but we're basically. Oh yeah, we did some more back there. Yeah, we got we got a decent amount done today for such a short day. No, absolutely. I'm digging it. Oh yeah. And then that guy. This one. This Andy one's. Van yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Lots of people said that one's the last one that I did. All right, Ken. Uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, yeah. Sir. Actually, we should probably sweep this up. I have to go in and shower so you don't mind. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Thank you. So, unfortunately, today is a short day, but it's a short day because my brain. I got physio today. Normally, normally we would uh, do a lot more, but uh, this is a good reason to have a short day. Taking care of health. And while I'm at it, oh, I'm just making it worse. And while I'm at it, wow. <laughs> there we go. While I'm at it, I may as well also sign some stuff, pack it up, and get it ready for the post office too. Can't do shit with this thumb. Can't even fold an envelope. Not bad. All right, this is everything, yes? Yes, that's all. All right, perfect. Thank you. Rotary Club outfit. 
<laughs> don't think that looks like rotary blue and yellow does anyone have rotary clubs where they're from they th that's what it is it's very rotary esque it's like their blue is like a royal blue. royal blue yes but it still brings me back to when I used to work at the banquet hall. Illegally, my first job was illegal labor, child labor, but I'm glad that I did it. Child labor, not forced upon me, I, I, I wanted to do it. Okay, it's not that cold out, but it's cold enough to need a jacket. Looking sharp. Okay. See, oh, I can't pick those up. I can't grip it. I can't grip it. My freaking thumb. My freaking thumb, man. Okay. Word to the wise, as well as the foolish. Do not slide down a rail and let your thumb get jammed. I don't even know what to call it. It sucks. Again, I tried to open the door handle. I don't know why I tried to do that. Dang it. Super foolish. Yeah, no, can't do it. I have to do it this way. Okay, let's hope that this be starts. Oh yeah, didn't even have to crank long. I haven't driven this in a while because of all the freezing coldness, but it works. Get rid of the snow there. Let's see if we can get rid of that snow as well. There we go. I should probably sweep that off. Don't want anyone thinking I'm an asshole. Getting snow all over their windshield. Believe it or not, if the snow is dense enough, it can fly off of your car and shatter the windshield of the guy behind you. I don't want that to happen, so you should probably sweep it all off up here as well. There we go. Let's roll. Oh, and look at that. We can park right in front. I love it when this happens. Oh, that's the sidewalk. <laughs> Let's do this again. That's the sidewalk again, but we're in the spot. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, I'm in my parking spot. Um, anyways, I've come here so often now to doing the uh, physio, the uh, IMS, that it's, it's, um, it's surprising. Sometimes when it should hurt a lot, it doesn't, which is weird. It's a rock? But it doesn't hurt. Did you even? Yeah. It's been? Oh shit. Can I keep that one? Do you want an arm getting up? Dang, that didn't hurt at all. And then sometimes it unexpectedly hurts tons. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Dude, you gotta warn me before you do butt stuff. Ow. I felt that, by the way, prickly in my knee and in my uh, ankle. I've also been doing this thing. Watch. It's gonna stretch me out. It stretches quite a bit. Got this little collar thing here, and it like, and then it lets you go after a little while. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't feel relaxing. It's not like that thing. That thing is that thing's way better. Than than the neck the next thing. 
Um, basically, you can see how oh, it's going to do a rest now. This thing pulls you towards the thing. Right now it's relaxing, gives me a little rest. And then I sit here for like 10 seconds or something. And then it's going to stretch me again. And I think it's like elongating. Yeah, right here it's going to pull me. I don't know how well you can see that, if at all. But my butt is scooting that way where my upper body is strapped in here. Anyway, I think what it's doing, it's like pulling my spine apart, decompressing or something. I don't know, something to do with traction, something, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, uh, if there's something along my spine in terms of like nerve stuff or whatever or tightening of muscles around the spine or even in the neck and all that stuff if we can relax that then maybe it'll help with the headache causation but I don't think it actually is doing anything for my headaches because I've been coming here for so long already all right now it's gonna give me another rest it's coming back up but uh, anyway, I've noticed that my posture is so much better and like I don't get so uncomfortable standing all day like if I'm working in the shop or whatever or or uh, get uncomfortable like being hunched over or like sitting in certain positions. It's way better. So I think I'm going to keep coming here just for maintenance even if it doesn't do anything for my brain because I've noticed other positive changes. I wonder if I should ask him about my my fat thumb. It's just sprained, so he probably couldn't do anything, but maybe he could like stick a needle in it and it would feel better. Probably not. <laughs> now it's got me stretched out again. Well, every time is different. Sometimes they're using different machines. Like they put me on like this weird electric shock thingy I don't know what it is it like suctioned my neck look I still have like a face hole uh, mark in here just waiting to get a booster juice um, so sometimes it's different machines and then sometimes it's like the needles are in different spots like they did my my neck on the side and like my armpit one time you're dressed like you're wearing a disguise today like disguise? Yeah. What do we? I don't know, just the white shirt and the gla- wait, do you always wear glasses? Uh, sometimes. Okay. What I want to see. <laughs> That's a good idea. I feel like I don't remember you with glasses. No, it's like, it's not terrible vision, but it's just a bit blurry. Mm. Just for far, far things. You're giving off like, can't. Oh. Clark vibes. Like you look smart. Yeah, you look really smart. You look like I like should I trust you. Look, like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, on your back. We do a new one today. Oh, we're gonna do a new one. Okay. Okay. Um. Arm over. Tap your hand on your forehead. Yeah. On my forehead. Okay. Yeah. Is this my, what session is this, five or six? It's one, two, three, either four or five. Okay, it's five then. Wait, you're gonna do my armpit? Oh man, okay. Let's go, oh yeah. Not so bad. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna film anymore. Mm. The moon. That's cool. Half a moon. Anyway, it's important to stay hydrated, so I always get one of these after a session because, I don't know, for whatever reason, you're supposed to hydrate after, so there we go. Okay, now that that torture is over, <laughs> um, I got a text while I was in there that uh, 
we got an order ready to pick up over at Airclix. It's not for me. It's uh, for my brother. And he's closed. That means that uh, he got the art store to hold it for me. Let's see if he did. I was a little late, but I thought I would chance it, like I always do. They are open still. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Did Miles leave something for Josh? He's, I think he's still there. Is he? Okay. Oh. Uh, I don't have anything for Josh. But... Not yet? Okay. His other door was closed. There is. No, he's not here. Did he leave anything? Is your name? Josh. That's all right. He must have come in when I was uh, in the back. Yeah, Three no worries. Months. No worries. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Have a good night. You too, thanks. Turns out he did drop it off. All right. I got it. Now, I said it was for my brother, so you may have assumed Dakota, but actually, my brother Ken also is a photographer, and he also uses Miles to... Uh, Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. He also uses Miles uh, for his printing and related uh, services. All right, next stop, I have to go to the uh, post office. But I have an idea. I am going to answer a common question I always I love winter driving in a rear-wheel drive truck vehicle. It's so fun. Uh, I'm going to answer a question that I keep getting um, because I would like to know the answer myself. Just down the road here from AirClix, we will be able to answer the age-old question. Now, not an old age, but old enough. I remember on my first art walk, I parked my uh, my brick nose F-150 here, and uh, I actually got in trouble. I got a, got two parking tickets, uh, which I never paid. Uh, because you don't have to pay them unless they're given to you by a bylaw officer. But anyway, the parking in the same spot. Even worse, though. Okay, now the question was, hey, did they find all the gold bricks? Well, I believe the last one. Okay, we are ready to hide the final gold brick. There will be more in the future, but this is from the first batch I made. And uh, we are gonna hide it right over here. Hopefully I don't look suspicious. Well, I believe the last one I hid right here, number 10. Ugh. I don't think, I don't think it was under here. It was under this one because it's loose and it's not there. So that answers a question for you and for me. Here we go. The gold brick has been found. I'm pretty sure I I hit it there, but I I could be wrong. Now as for all the other gold bricks, I don't know which ones uh, have and haven't been found exactly. I don't think anyone found the one that I hit at the Hollywood sign. So that one's still up for grabs. If one of you have found this one, let me know. Message me somewhere. I got all my contact info in the description below. 
actually everyone let me know which one did you uh which one did you find now as it's getting dark i am going to make my way to the post office oh, oh watch out for the civilians <laughs> oh my gosh uh let's go this way used to be train tracks here they are gone thank goodness because that would slow traffic down a lot oh I was gonna park there my dude that's okay I will park here instead it's it's a shopping drug mart whatever drugstore but it is also a if you look there, post office. More specifically, post office in the drugstore. Hello, my guy. Oh shoot, there's lots. Uh, what's that? No dangerous goods in any of them. They're all paper, and I don't need to know the price of any of them. Just whatever is the, yeah, sure. Um, anything overseas, though, I'll go with uh, air rather than surface. Okay, on does it. Thank you. Good to go? All right, perfect stack here. I don't know why he gave it to me like this, but who put that there? But uh, works for me. Couple for Dakota, and one for me, and two cards. And it looks like Eternal Darkness. You were wondering uh, about your card. Well, it made it. So I will open this stuff next mail day and I will also give to go to his stuff so that he can open it up over on his channel which I will have linked in the description this is the video you should watch because it's a good one and It'll make sense from my gnome video. So I will link to this video in particular. Why is there no sound? This definitely would have been better if you could hear what was going on. Do my speaker, speakers, are they broken? Okay. <laughs> Guys, right here, there used to be a fire-breathing dragon. It was so cool. There would be like this music, the chiming music, yeah. and then you knew that it was gonna blow fire. And it would be hot, you'd feel it. Yes, but if you were standing up here on the IMAX level, like right here, you would get blasted. The fire didn't reach you, but it was, it was warm. And then remember down the hall, there was the baby dragon that would call for its mom. That's how you knew it would start if you were over there, yeah. uh, down the down the hallway. But uh, yeah, they uh, yeah they took it out for some reason. They didn't operate it for years, yeah. but it was still there and it was still cool. And it was right above the concession stand, which used to be like in the middle. Now it's just on one wall there. Um, they still have Batman and Yoda, but. Uh, no dragon. Although they still have the dusty ass cables that held some of it up. Yeah, his wings. Yeah, if the wings would flap. I guess it was a female. Yeah, it, was it, the, it was the mother. Yeah, the wings would flap. Its arm would move. It and its head would her. move. And yeah. then it would just be like. And then the fire would. It was so cool. The music was so loud though. It was like an immersive experience. Yeah, it was awesome. Everyone would just stop and watch it. 
take pictures, take video. If you YouTube West M to Mall Dragon, yeah. you'll probably be able to pull out, pull up some uh, dragon content. Yeah, it's a bummer. And I've always been curious as to what the heck is in that door on that little bridge there. Anyway, thanks for watching.